Can you feel it? The magic Christmas in the air We're moving and grooving Joy is everywhere Whoa, 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 whoa. Snow is falling down Say whoa, 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 whoa. Can you hear the sound? Say oh, we're gonna have a party Jolly, it's the best time of the year See the wonder in a manger The whole world needs to hear it now oh, 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 oh. Snow is falling down I said, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. Can you hear the sound? I said, oh, we're gonna have a party Yeah, we're just getting started Let's It's time to jingle, jingle, oh Carols as we go. Here with friends and family. So much joy the Savior brings. Peace and love are here to stay. Let everybody know it's Christmas Day. Oh, 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 oh. Snow is falling down. I'm MC Haggis, and this year is my beatboxing partner, Seamus McFamous. Give him a sample, Seamus. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, oh, Seamus is showing us that it's Christmas time. And this month's life app is Christmas. Celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, the Haggis and McFamous clans are having a Christmas get-together for the first time ever! Can you believe that, Seamus? Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's right, I. it's gonna be great because both clans have the same Christmas traditions! For instance, decorations! Yeah, always gonna go get those decorations, they're, they're beautiful. Yeah, yeah, if they're anything like mine, they're gorgeous. Yeah. Wonderful. There, there, there. What, 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 what is this? Aye. No, 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 no! Those aren't decorations. That's just clutter. There, look. This is the Haggis Clan Christmas decorations. Ooh. Huh? Look at that. Doesn't that? Just right here. Look. Put the candy cane right here on the on the tree. Look at that. Doesn't that just fill you with Christmas spirit? Hey. No, what do, you, what do you mean, no? This is all you need. Aye. No, you don't need any of that. Christmas is about those things that Aye. are just simple. Aye. No, that's not simple. Right. That's a lot of... I, I, no, no, I, you're not allowing... I, I, all right. Then what about Christmas food? What you got? I... <laughs> see, see, now that's just excessive, all right? Here is the Haggis Clan's Christmas dinner. Ooh, corn dogs and tater tots. You can't be serious about all that slop. I wouldn't even feed that to my pigs. Turn that away. This is, no, this is traditional foods. No way, I wouldn't even feed that to the sheep. No, no, the sheep. No, you're ridiculous. Gillis, did you just throw a carrot at me? Hey. A 
potato for a carrot. Oh yeah? No, I don't even know it. No, 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 Seamus, don't you dare. You do that and... Corndo. Ah! Corndo! No! Ah, no! What are you doing? No! Get out of here! No, 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 All right, all right, all right, all right, enough of this. What, this is ridiculous. First of all, you had way more ammunition than I did. Hey. Yeah. <gasps> Note to self, next year get food that sticks. Hey, look at that. Second, this has nothing to do with what Christmas is all about. Do you know what Christmas is all about? I'll tell you what Christmas is all about. Lights, please. Kick it, Seamus. God loves us so he sent his son, Jesus, who's the Holy One. He came to earth to set us free. That's more important than a goofy tree. Word. That's what Christmas is all about, Seamus. It's not such a bad little tree after all. Maybe it just needs a little love. Hmm? My Christmas corn dog. That's good. Sorry if it seems like I'm in a rush. Gotta make this quick, cause it's the holiday, so you know what that means? Lots of plans on the old calendar. I got something happening every single day leading up to the big day. Christmas! Christmas is celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. So, let me see if there's anything new in this big wrapped box. And then I can get busy celebrating. Here we go. No way. This is what Christmas is all about right here. Ginger spiced pecan with a hint of nutmeg, some oregano mixed in just for a little flavor and sprinkled on top with chocolate sprinkles. And then we mix in some of Aunt Dory's famous protein powder just to build the muscle non-dairy, gluten-free, if you can believe it, Dory can make it. And I'm, 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 I'm sensing a hint of chocolate now? She's, she's mixing up, she's gone off the grid, she's mixing up the recipe. It smells so good, but the taste, the taste, oh! I don't have the words to describe the taste of Aunt Dory's famous pie. I'm gonna need to set this down for a second. My family's been going to Aunt Dory's at Christmas time ever since I was a little kid. That's always been the plan. I get to hang out with my cousins and catch up on old times. We always eat the biggest meal. You never saw so many casseroles. But if your belly's smart, it always saves room for the pie. Mmm. Sorry. Sorry. Come on, Jacob. Get it together. I'm getting distracted by pie. Sorry. This year, we had to change the plan a little bit. Aunt Dory hasn't been feeling too well, and the family thought it'd be best if we wait until she's feeling better before we get together. It's kind of a bummer when plans don't go the way you'd expect, but we're trying to make the best of things. Find things to be joyful about, you know? Hey, the story today is about changing plans. This girl, Mary, she had to change her plans, not just for the holidays, but for her whole life. And do you think she was able to be joyful? We'll find out in just a minute. I think I'll stick around for the, uh, uh, for the story. Hmm. And the pie. Maybe just some pie, just a little bit of pie. The Bible, it's 66 books of history stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. 
the epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 through 56. Mary lived in the tiny town of Nazareth, an ordinary village at the edge of Jewish lands. Nazareth? Can anything good come from there? Mary herself was an ordinary girl. Oh, hello. She grew up learning the Jewish scriptures. A child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, he will rule over us, and he will be called Wonderful Advisor and Mighty God. When will this happen? Only God knows. It's been hundreds of years. Mary went to fetch water from the well and baked loaves of bread and swept out the hard-packed earth floor. It's important to clean the dirt off the dirt. <laughs> she was also engaged to be married to a carpenter named Joseph. Mary must have expected that her life would follow a very ordinary path until one day when everything changed. Greetings, Mary. Suddenly, right there in the dim room, a brilliant being appeared. Mary probably dropped whatever she was holding, a broom, a batch of bread dough, a needle and thread. Who, me? The Lord has blessed you in a special way. He is with you. Mary blinked, trying to take it all in. The whole room glowed with light. I, I don't understand. Do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. Mary couldn't find any words. In one heartbeat, her very ordinary day had flipped upside down. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. He will rule forever over his people. That kingdom will never end. The words of Isaiah may have echoed in Mary's head. A child will be born to us. A son will be given to us. He will rule over us. She finally found her voice. How can this happen? I'm not even married yet. The light flared even brighter. The Holy Spirit will make this happen. Your relative Elizabeth will have a child even though she is old. People thought she could not have children, but she has been pregnant for six months now. That's because what God says will always come true. Mary's heart pounded. Her cousin Elizabeth was old enough to be a grandmother, and if she was having a baby, pff, anything could happen. I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. The light faded. The towering angel disappeared. Mary leaned against the wall to collect her thoughts. Elizabeth, I have to go see her. The journey to Elizabeth and Zechariah's home in the hill country of Judah would have taken many days of travel along dusty roads. Finally, Mary arrived. Why, it's Mary. Elizabeth, I have so much to tell you. As Mary spoke, Elizabeth could feel the child inside of her leap and kick for joy. God's Holy Spirit spoke to Elizabeth. God has blessed you more than other women, and blessed is the child you will have. As soon as I heard the sound of your voice, the baby inside of me jumped for joy. You are a woman God has blessed. You have believed that the Lord would keep his promises to you. Mary laughed and cried at the same time as she hugged her older cousin. God confirmed once again that Mary could find joy in the extraordinary plan God had for her. Now tell me your story. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for several weeks. She was so filled with joy, she poured out her heart in a song to God. My soul gives glory to the Lord. My spirit delights in God, my Savior. He has taken note of me, even though I'm not considered important. He shows his mercy to those who have respect for him. He has filled with good things those who are hungry. He has helped the people of Israel who serve him. He has done it just as he had promised to our people of long ago. At the end of three months, Mary returned home to Nazareth, ready to see how God's plan was about to unfold. Oh, oh. I can't believe I just ate that whole pie. Almost the whole pie. That was not part of the plan. But hey, I definitely felt the joy. Maybe you're like me, 
and your plans had to change for some reason this season. Reason season. I rhymed that on purpose. Nah, I'm just teasing. It is totally okay to feel sad when plans don't go the way you expect. I'm sad I don't get to go to Aunt Dory's. But, like Aunt Dory says, you don't have to dwell on the sadness. You don't have to stay sad forever. There could be a bigger reason why plans change. Think about it. Before God revealed his plan, Mary was just like any one of us. She had her own hopes and dreams for the future, just like we do. But her plans changed because God had a bigger plan for her. It's the same with us. My plans, God's plans. God knows everything that's ever happened and he knows everything that's going to happen. So he has a plan for you. It may be different than your plan, but trust me, it's a bigger and better plan. So if you're sad when plans change, that's okay. Just don't dwell there. You can have joy knowing that your plans are in bigger hands. Plans hands, that sort of rhymes. Here's the one thing to remember today. You can have joy because God has a plan for you. It's cool to think that the creator of the universe has a plan just for me. I don't know about you, but that makes me kind of, uh, <laughs> also kind of excited, huh? And kind of hungry. One more slice of pie won't hurt. Oh, looks like the plans are changing again. Oh boy, the plans are changing fast. I'll catch you next time. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let her receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven.
Almost there. Here we go. Here we go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What is this again, John? Well, you know how I like to ice sculpt? No, I did not know that. I talk about it all the time. No. Okay. Well, anyway, I made an eight-foot tall Christmas tree, which is an exact replica of the 77-foot tall Christmas tree in Rockefeller Center in New York City. Wouldn't that just be like a regular Christmas tree? No, you're missing the point. I, I carved the tree out of an ice block with a chainsaw. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no, that does sound amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah can, can you take the blindfold off now? All right, take a deep breath. Okay. <gasps> mm-hmm. And prepare to be amazed. Where is it? It was right here. It was. I spent many hours on that. It was perfect. It had like individual branches, individual lights on it. It even had a star on top. <laughs> Somebody stole my ice sculpture. Oh. I found it. Like this is it. Spice. It's pumpkin cream. Go. What? Go, go, oh, go, go. Oh. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the So and So Show. We are your hosts, Brandon. And John, and a very merry almost Christmas to you all. Yes, indeed. We are so excited that it's December again, and we get to revisit some of our favorite Bible stories, eat lots of fruitcake, and sing carols off pitch for our neighbors. <laughs> Deck the halls with boughs of holly. La 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 la. Merry, merry, uh, cr- may, yep. yeah. Yeah, that was so much fun last year. Hey, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pencil that in for, say, next Thursday at 2.27 p.m. Oh, that's specific. Yeah, well, there's lots of holiday plans, my friend. <laughs> you got to squeeze them all in there. <laughs> okay, well, I guess it's a plan. Uh, you guess. Yeah, sure. You better be sure. My time here is precious, buddy. This is Christmas. This calendar fills up fast and full. Oh. Look, see? Yeah. Look no, at I, that. Yeah, ooh, I see that. <laughs> Good, because tomorrow, look at this, look at this. Tomorrow, I'm making gingerbread houses with my nieces, then off to the homeless shelter to hand out Christmas scarves, and I'm helping my mom decorate her Christmas tree before I go grocery shopping for the annual family Christmas bake-off, which is the next day. And the bake-off is always a 24-hour event, so there will be no sleeping that night, and then I have only 45 minutes the day after that for a little nap before the Christmas train leaves the station again. (sighs) You going on a train? It's a metaphorical train, Brandon, and it doesn't stop till New Year's Eve! I love Christmas. If I may speak freely. Sure, you have 23 seconds. Okay, uh, it seems like your calendar is a little overstuffed. Yeah, what do you mean? Like, how are you going to enjoy all of the things this month if every minute is filled with some type of plan? Christmas plan, that's what Christmas is all about. It's about having Christmas all month long. Okay, but still, I don't think it's what Christmas is all about. There's other- Time's up! Please welcome someone who knows stuff. What? expecting a guest today. I know, I didn't have time to schedule a visit with my aunt and my uncle, so just make the best of it, okay? Hey, Aunt Irene and Uncle Jim, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, John. Uh, Your studio is lovely. Uh, uh, this is Brandon, my co-host. Oh, oh, hi, Brandon. Oh, it sure is good finally meeting you, Brandon. <laughs> we love watching the show. Oh, thank you. Yes. Oh, Merry Christmas to you both. Hey, Merry Christmas to you all. Hey, have a seat. Okay, oh, right here. Yeah, 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 that's great. Yeah, right there, right there. Right there. No, 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 right here. I, uh, yeah, there you go. And uh, you're right here, right here. And okay. Uncle Jim. Okay, that's oh, yeah. great. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> All right. <laughs> okay, uh, tell us who you are and what you know. Well, um, hmm. We are your Aunt Irene. Yeah. And oh, and I'm Uncle Jim. Yeah, we, we covered that. We covered that. And I don't know what we know. Um, well, I know we love you, John. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, and I know all about raised bed herb gardening. Yeah. And that is all the time we have for today. Hey, thanks for coming on the show, you guys. It was oh, great seeing you. Oh, but, but we just got here. Yeah, come on, John. Don't be rude. I'm not being rude. I'm just trying not to cut into Kellen's time. Oh, that's it. What? It's Bible story time with Kellen! Hello, everybody. Hey, Kellen. I hope you need help telling the Bible story today, Kellen. 
Uh, I think the so-and-so show players have it covered this week. Not anymore. It's time for the dynamic stylings of my Uncle Jim and Aunt Irene. Hi, Kellen. I'm an angel. Okay. This should be fun. Here we go. Aunt Irene and Uncle Jim in the story of Mary and the angel. And you can find this story in the Gospel of Luke. <clears throat> Around 2,000 years ago, God sent an angel named Gabriel to the town of Nazareth. Oh, I've got a message from God for a girl named Mary. Mary was engaged to Joseph, and Joseph came from the family line of King David. Mary. Oh, hello. Who are you? The Lord has blessed you in a special way. He is with you. How exciting. Mary was actually very frightened when Gabriel appeared to her. Oh, okay. Terrifying! Oh. See, that was really good. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I do. I really felt your fear. Oh, thank you. But do not be afraid, Mary, for God is very pleased with you. And you will get pregnant and have a son, and you must call him Jesus, and he will be called the Son of the Most High God, and his kingdom will never end. How can this happen? I am not married. The Holy Spirit will come to you, and the power of the Most High God will cover you. Oh, wow. That's really something, ain't it? I guess God can do anything, right, Kellen? Yeah. In fact, one of Mary's own relatives, Elizabeth, was also going to have a baby, even though everyone thought she was too old. Oh, that's amazing. What God says will always come true. So, what do you think, Mary? I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. After that, the angel left her. Oh, okay then. See ya. Now, Mary really wanted to share her news with someone, so she went to see Elizabeth. The baby in Elizabeth's belly jumped for joy when Mary arrived. And Elizabeth told Mary, God has blessed you and the child you will have. You believe the Lord's promises. And then Mary said, My soul gives glory to the Lord. My spirit delights in God my Savior. Will we keep going? Thanks, Aunt Irene, but that'll do. Mary may have been afraid of what was going to happen. She may have been overwhelmed with all the planning she had to do to prepare for a new baby in her life, but she was able to find joy in it. And she took the time to praise God for being faithful to her and her people and for always keeping his promises. The end. It was incredible. Yeah, great job, Aunt Irene and Uncle Jim. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and thanks to you too, Kellen. Nah, don't even mention it. What do you guys think of the story? I loved it. An angel appearing to someone, that's always epic. I liked how Mary was willing to trust God even when things seemed impossible. Oh, and I like the song. <laughs> oh, stop it. Oh. It was great meeting you both, and thank you so much for your help with the Bible story. You bet. Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Bye Kevin. Kevin. Oh, we better get going, too. Yeah. Lots of plans for the holidays, yeah. you know. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. Can you... Guys, stay a little longer. I've really enjoyed having you here. Well, well, are you sure, John? I mean, you seem awfully busy. I am. I mean, <laughs> I was. Oh, hey, looks like my schedule opened up. Well, Hello. okay then. <laughs> yeah, twist my arm. All right, come on over. Yeah, come on in. It's Christmas. I don't want to get so busy with all my plans that I forget to enjoy any of them. Oh, that sounds like a plan. Yeah, you know what my plan is right now? Let's sing Christmas carols out of tune. Okay. All right, here, here, here. <gasps> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Horrible. Reveal the question. What are your plans for Christmas? Yeah, what have you got on your calendar this year? Decorating a tree, maybe? Or baking cookies. Or visiting family. Yeah. Talk about it with each other. 
What are your plans for Christmas? And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show! <laughs> All right, jingle bells again, ready? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. For fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. It's hard to sing the harmony when you're when you're all harmony. I was singing the harmony. You start. Oh, you're singing the harmony? I was singing the harmony. Oh, yeah. you sing it then. Oh, I was just. I okay. thought I was. Oh. oh, you were? No. Maybe. Oh, maybe you that's go the ahead. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>